Hey, Sean here from speedcubeview.com. So I have had the GAN X for you know quite a while now, and there's a lot of things I like about it. One thing I don't like is the, what's it called? The numerical, there we go. The numerical IPG GES springs, because on even the tightest tensions, it's quite loose, loose enough where I've gotten corner twists and you could easily take a piece out and now a piece isn't gonna pop out, but loose enough where that's that's way too loose. And I know I usually like tighter cubes anyways, but I feel like even on the tightest tensions, it should be too tight on the tightest tensions, just like with springs. I like the old spring sets that they used to have yellow, orange, and red because, well actually they still have yellow, like clear orange and red, which you don't have because although no one used red, it was that extreme that was you know on that far end for that one random person who liked it, but you could find something in the middle and now I feel like things are just too loose. So I went to Speed Cube Shop and I got not only a new bag, um, just because I guess it came with it, but I got a new 356X with just the V5 springs, which are, you know, the regular turny springs that don't lock in. So actually, let's talk about the differences real quick. So the numerical IPG has three settings. You can tell it's that one because instead of just being a screw, you can see it's almost a rectangular shape there. And with your hands, you can actually just change the size of it. You just push that down and turn it. And there are three settings. So you have three different um, tensions you can put it on, and then you still get the four different spring sets, yellow, um, green, blue, and purple. So what's nice about these is that you don't have to worry about them any of the sides having uneven tensions. You just set it, and that's it. But the downside is you, you're really restricted in what the tensions are. Now, I've never had any issues with tensioning cubes evenly. I find it very confusing when people say they do because all you really need to do whenever you tension a cube is just you can see oh come on get that cap off make the if it's a GES one make it even with the rod or the screw whatever we're gonna call that with the core and once they're all even just count the number of turns maybe make it two or three and then just do two or three on every side if you feel like it's uneven make it even again and that's it um, and when I say make it even again, I meant even with uh, the core. And the same thing with the screw, you can even line it up with the centers. So these tensions are really loose, but also I'm gonna switch this out. Right now we've got the green uh, springs in here. I'm gonna change it with the yellow and also put in the yellow magnets because that's the strongest of both of them. Okay, so springs and magnets are switched out. Let's clean this up real fast. Okay, so one more thing, let's just get this to a nice tension. Now, my sort of, my gauge is often to go to where you can't really see the edge of that corner piece. So right now I can kind of see it right there. And, oh, I just put the tensioning tool away. Let's bring that back out. So now every side I can kind of feel the core coming out a little bit. And this one not so much, so let me do a little extra turn there. Yep, there we go. And white could go a little bit more. So I can still gauge if it's even just by the feel of it. And that seems much nicer. Now, often cubes seems to seem to get a little more flexible after just a small bit of use. So I'm sure I might be tightening it a little bit more later. Or I might find it too tight and loosen it. So my other kind of, not complaint at all, but why I'm not, don't really care if you can tension things fast or change magnets fast, although this is, you know, nothing else you can change magnets. But as far as tensioning it fast, 
I don't really care so much because you don't redo that very often. Now, usually I'll slow the cube down, but this actually already feels pretty nice and controllable. So I'm just gonna add a bit of Martian to this. I could do lunar. Yeah, I'll do Martian. Just to give it a little bit of a softer feel. There's already some lubricant there. And let's check corner cutting. We still have slightly over 45 degree corner cutting with these extra tight tensions um that's not you know doesn't mean so much with performance because here you know there is more than 45 a lot of the time um but because it's so flexible you could easily it actually catches a little bit more because it can misalign more easily but i'm going to do solves with both and have some final thoughts in a little bit so i'll get back to you Okay, so I did some solves and yeah, I I really much prefer this. So it's a bit scratchier. I've added quite a bit of lunar because with that you can add it without slowing it down really at all, but it adds a nice gummy feel, but it still needs a bit of breaking in just to just to get rid of some of that scratchiness. And so I do much prefer these tensions. It might be a smidge tight. And, but I'm going to see kind of how it breaks in, but compared to the numerical IPG, which this is the tightest that it could possibly be on the strongest springs, this is what I prefer. If you purchase it, this is also a little bit cheaper. They, you know, they're both quite expensive already, but you, if you, if you're going to get one, I would highly, highly suggest getting the numerical or sorry, not the numerical, getting the V5. You basically have unlimited tensions instead of three. And although you could probably set these a little bit faster with your hand, after you set your tensions, you don't really need to do much with it. You get a spare spring of each one in case something, you know, breaks. Although with these new ones, I haven't heard of anyone having slipping springs. I'm sure there's someone that's out there that's had it, but it's extremely rare and I've never heard it. And if you do get it, you get this nice little card, which you can then get replacement from GAN. So yeah, I, I, I really happy with this. I'm glad I got it. This is basically going to sit on my shelf now, or maybe as a backup, if I do ever use this at a competition, I don't know if I will, but that always changes from day to day. So thank you very much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on the numerical versus the V5. I'm much more a fan of the V5, although the, numer the numerical is supposed to be the, the nicer version, the nicer product. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on that. Uh, hit like, subscribe, more content like this in the future. And as always, stop by speedcubeview.com for more news and reviews. Hit like, subscribe for more content like this in the future, and as always, stop by speedcubeview.com. Oh,